Welcome to Apply IT. This video is part of a series on stock analysis using Google Sheets. In our previous video, we understood how to find out all time high price. In today's video, we are going to find out the date of that all time high price. If you are new and you haven't watched our previous videos on stock analysis, do watch those videos then come back to this video for better understanding. So let's understand how to find out all time high price and its date using Google Sheets. So let's get started. This is our Google Sheets. It has three tabs. One is tracking, second is steps and third is scripts. In scripts, we have all possible scripts that are available on NSC Stock Exchange. In this tracking sheet, we are going to track all the stocks for all time high price and date of that all time high price. In the second tab, we are going to perform the steps to derive that all time high price and the date of all time high price. So first, let's derive formula that we are going to write in place of this X to find out all time high price and same way let's learn how to find out formula that we are going to write in place of this y that will find out the date of all time high price so the formula for x and y we are going to generate in the second tab so let's see that first we need to find out high price for particular script that we write in this b3 cell so we write here name of script in b3 cell that is matching with this b3 cell that is there in the first tab so with reference to this we are going to write the formula then we are going to copy those formula into this first tab so let's see that so first formula is to find out high price between two dates so we use this google finance function pass the name of the script that is there on the nsc stock exchange we are interested in finding out the high price and the start date is from 1st January 1999 to the today's date. So between all these two dates, whatever prices are present that we are going to find out. So that is the formula to get high price between two dates. Now once we have that formula, in order to find out the highest price and corresponding date, we need to sort this data into descending order. So that is the formula that we write here. Now in place of this H, we are going to write the formula that we have written in this place because that is giving us the high prices between two dates. So in place of this H, we are going to write formula that we have written in this cell. Then we want to sort this range as per column number 2 because column number 2 contains the price. And the third parameter is whether it is ascending sorting or descending sorting so we want it as descending sorting in descending sorting we get get highest price or the highest value at the top so here we write false so this is the formula to sort this range as per this second column so that we write here we write sort and column number two and we want descending sorting and this one this formula is what we have written in this cell we copy that formula and we write that in place of this h and the formula will become like this so that is the step number two now in step number three we have to pick up this second row and from the second row the first column will give us the date and the second column will give us the price that is the highest price so we are going to extract this information into the third step the formula is we use this index function so in index function we specify the reference so that in place of that reference we are going to write formula that we have written here so whole formula we are going to plug into this in place of this p so from that reference we want to pick up the row number two that is this is the first row this is the second row so from this row number two we want to pick up the first column and that first column we know that that gives that gives us the date so once we write that formula we are going to get the date of this all time high price and that is what we have written here so this whole formula 
as the first parameter of this index function. This whole formula we have copied from this cell and that we plug into place of this p and that will give us this formula. In the same way, for getting the price that is the highest price or the all time high price, we use the same formula but now instead of column number 1, we write column number 2. So from this data, we pick up the second row and column number 2. So that formula we write here and this D will be replaced by the formula that we have written here. So this whole formula we plug into that and the formula will become like this. So we use this index and supply here the formula of the previous step and row number 2, row number 2 and column number 2 that will give us the highest price, the all time high price. If the date column is not formatted to display the date, we may get number like this. So we need to convert this number into date. So that we do using this two underscore date function. So in this two underscore date function, in place of this D, we plug formula that we have written here. So this whole formula we are going to plug into place of this D. So that formula will become like this two date and starting from this till the end we have written the formula that we supplied that we that we generated in the previous step and in this way we are going to get this date in this way we are going to get the date of all time high price so from this sheet we are going to copy this whole formula to get the all time high price we copy this and we are going to plug it into this formula in place of this x. So here we replace that x by that formula and we will get all time high price for this Infosys stock which is 1953.9. So we get here all time high price in the same way to get the date of the all time high price we will replace this y by the formula that we have written in the second tab. So that is this formula. So we copy this formula and we plug that formula in place of this y. And that gives us date of this all time high price for this Infosys stock which is 17 January 2022 and once we have written this formula we can simply copy this formula in all the cells and same way we can copy this formula for all the cells and our tracking sheet will be ready now in case you want to track some other stock we just select from here one stock for example Britannia and you'll see that automatically here data will be fetched so we can see that the all time high price for Britannia is 6005 and that price was high on this date 23rd July 2024. Now let's verify this all time high price on money control. So we go to money control and we search for this Infosys stock and we get its data and we can see here the all time high price is 1953.90 which is matching with what we have got using Google sheet. We can also verify the date of this all time high price in this in this chart. So we search for the past data and here we find high price which is around Seventeen January. So we can verify that we are getting the correct data using this Google Sheet. So using Google Finance function and writing appropriate formula, we can perform stock analysis using Google Sheet. Thanks for watching and happy learning. We'll see you in the next video.